Hi, welcome to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 12-14 from RC Ballard and Union Dynamics 14 edition. According to this problem, the position of a particle along a straight line path is defined by S as a function of t, where t is in seconds. Determine the total distance traveled when t equals to 10 seconds. What are the particle's average velocity, average speed, and the instantaneous velocity and acceleration at this time? So let's solve for the instantaneous velocity and the acceleration. So for the instantaneous velocity, we have been given a function s is equals to t cube minus 6t square minus 15t plus 7. We know that velocity is equals to derivative of the position s with respect to time. So we have v is equals to 3t square minus 12t minus 15 and this would become 0, the constant term. So at t is equals to 10 seconds velocity is equals to 3 t square minus 12 into 10 minus 15 so v is equals to 165 bit per second now for the acceleration acceleration is equals to derivative of the velocity with respect to time so we have dv over, over dt of the function of v have acceleration is equals to 60 minus 12 and when t is equals to 60 minus 12 and when t is equals to 10 seconds acceleration is equals to 6 into 10 minus 12 that's 48 per second, per second square for the total distance traveled what we have to do we have to find the positions between the time interval 0 to 10 seconds if we put 0 into the function which has been given to us then s naught is equals to 7 bit if we put 10 into this function we have S10 is equals to 257 bit and T is 10 seconds. Now we have to find the positions when velocity is 0 because when velocity is 0 the particle must have stopped or might have changed its direction so we have to find the positions when velocity is 0 so if we put 0 into this function this one put v equals to 0 in equation a then we have a quadratic equation that would keep us t is equals to 5 seconds and t is equals to negative 1 second as time cannot be negative so we will not consider this answer we will consider this time 5 seconds so if we put 5 into this function of s then we would have s5 is equals to 
नेगेटिव नाइन्टी थ्री फिट वट वी हैव टू डू नाउ वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द पोजिशन ऑफ द पार्टिकल विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम टू ट्रैक इट्स मूवमेंट थ्रू आउट द जर्नी सो वट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू ड्रॉ आर रेफरेंस लाइन लेट्स से दिस इज अवर रेफरेंस लाइन दिस इज द ओरिजिन When time is zero seconds, the particle's position is at seven feet. So let's say this is the seven feet. Right here, time is zero seconds. Let's say position is seven feet, and time is zero seconds. And when time is five seconds. The particle's position is at ninety-three feet, but in negative direction, which means we have to go to the left from the origin up to ninety-three feet. Let's call this one ninety-three. When t is equals to five seconds, when t is equals to ten seconds, the particle's position is at two five seven feet. but in the positive direction so we have right hand side as positive so we would move let's say this is 257 when t is equals to 10 seconds so if we join all these points then when t is equals to 0 seconds particle is at 7 feet from the origin then it moved backwards up to 93 feet when time is 5 seconds and when it's 10 seconds the particle position is at 257 feet which means that it moved in the forward direction like this so this is the movement of the particle in the time interval of 0 to 10 seconds so now for the total distance total distance is equals to the particle moved 7 feet backwards so this is 7 plus the distance is always positive it then moved 93 feet from the origin it's again positive then the particle during its last movement it moved forward again This is ninety-three feet. This is ninety-three feet. So this is ninety-three. Then the particle moved two five seven feet in the forward direction up to this point. So we have two five seven here. So distance is equals to. Four fifty feet. Now, what about displacement? Displacement is the change in position of the particle. So, initially, particle is at seven feet, and finally, the particle is at two five seven feet from the origin. So, what we have to do? We have to subtract two five seven. From seven, so we have two fifty feet. This is the displacement. Now for the average velocity and average speed, what we have to do? It's simple. For the average velocity. we have displacement 250 over the time which is 
total time that's 25 feet per second this is the answer for the velocity and for the average speed we have v is equals to the distance which is 450 feet divided by the total time which is 10 so this is equals to 45 feet So we have found the instantaneous velocity, this is first answer, this is second answer and we have found the total distance, third answer and fourth and fifth answer. So this is the answer to this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates and if you have any question about this problem then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.